Hi everybody, my name is An Chan Tech. This is my another video. I never done a video for about about almost a year because I was busy doing working and doing other stuff. Now I do a lot of technical videos. Now in this case, I'm going to show you that you can install Office 365 on Windows 7, not the other ones that you saw, but the 2019 version of Office 365. Let me explain why I call it 2019 version. Now you know Office 365 is like online version of Microsoft Office package. For example, if you download Office 365 as of 2014, you get the 2013 version. Likewise, same as when you download Office 365 as of 2017, you get the 2016 version because it goes by the latest and account version and also updated stuff. Right now, as of this time, which is 2019, on this, on this calendar here, it says 15th of September, when you download 365, you're downloading the latest Office 2019 package because it goes by the latest current version. Also, not just the current version, but also the current updates of the version. Microsoft did say we can't use 2019 on Windows 7 or 8, meaning it has to be either Windows 10 or Server 2019. We all know that. But I found a way around this. So I'm on Windows 7 interface. As you see, it looks like a square screen because I'm using Hyper-V. Otherwise, I'd be showing like 720p type widescreen, but it's not a square, which is 1024, 76 type of resolution. Okay, let's sit down. Let's install Office. So I'm gonna go here. I'll just speed it a bit actually, so you can vote on that big nonsense. Let me run this. I'm gonna minimize this actually. Whilst it's downloading, I'm gonna give you a quick disclaimer. Mind you, I'm using a Office 365 version of 2019, meaning that I'm gonna use my Hotmail account as a license, you know, my subscription. Same thing as if you got your business one, you can use E3, E5. I'm not sure about E1 because E1 don't have Office, so I'm using my Hotmail account. Instead of using my standalone 2019 25 characters pull up key. Oh, right, it's done. Finally, it's done. Okay. After a long wait, anyway, let's open Microsoft Office Word. Wait for it. It says 365 because. I activate my home mail account, yes. Yeah. There you go, I activate my license with my subscription. I'm not using my SU number, that's why. Options. Okay. 
go to account I'll use my subscription product I can change it to my 2019 version of product key but I'm using my subscription he said let me just try and do updates update now I'm up to date, which is good. So it looks like it works. Now, I can't say much about any patch updates or major updates, but if you got 2019 version, you do still get update features, but more like security patches or sales pack type updates or incremental updates for 2019. If you got using a 365 subscription base, then you get those interactive updates because this is between 2019 and 365 year they have the same features but you know 365 had the interactive features you know I've got online stuff and all those online perks with it but uh, standalones don't have the online perks so I bought the subscription base because I'm doing my exams at the moment anyway my office 2019 as of this video because I've done 2013 I got the masters of that. Also, I got the masters of 2016. That's also done that. So, 2019 at that moment. So, the exam is still currently new as of this video. So there you are. It works. Let's try uh, um, Microsoft Excel. It says 365 because I'm using Excel subscription again. I know it's a 2019 version, but I'm not using 2019 as I'm using the subscription. So, just. Bear that in mind, yeah. What I'm using, so you don't get confusing. Okay, so I got all those good stuff. So it looks like I can run Office 365 on my Windows 7, but mind you, as you know, Windows 7 is going to retire in January 2020. So. I can say you can use Windows 8 or 8.1 on it if you want to use 365. So yeah, this is how you install Office 365 on the Windows 7 from the actual your own account. Now I cannot say for proprietary licenses because it's never tried. But tell me what you think. What can it be done on 2019? Like install it on your Windows 7. Even Microsoft said you can't. Have you tried? Download Office 365 onto Windows 7 or Windows 8 as of 2019 or as of let's say as of summer 2019 as you get the latest version but please tell me your thoughts you know if it does did it work for you it might not work for you so let me know how it works if it works or not work so that's for you to decide but if you like this video then please like you can follow my page and anyway I hope this is very informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing anyway bye bye